Hey y'all, it's Ashley, and today I'm going to do a sketchbook tour of my sketchbook here. Now this sketchbook is a Lake Michigan um, sketchbook. It's by um, Crystal. I'll leave the link down below. Um, she has an um, Etsy shop and a website, and I have her on Instagram. So I really love her book. You can customize what you want to put in it for like paper. And she has different sizes, different colors and things. And this is actually my second book from her because my first book, my dog kind of got into, and as you can see, got into this one again. And I filled this one with cold press, Arches cold press paper. And I think that was the indicator of why my dog really liked eating it. Cause I think he liked the taste of it, obviously. And so he got a hold of that one by accident. But without further ado, further ado, let's just jump right in. So, um, yeah, I finished this one in December, or I started it December 2020, and I finished it um, just recently. And I think this is my favorite page of the book. I don't know. I just, I just really love this. I just, I, I'm, I'm a huge botanical, or botanical. Um, just garden person. I love flowers. So as you can see coming up, I've done a lot of flowers in this sketchbook. Now when I talk about sketchbooks, I do like to emphasize, em <laughs> no I can't talk. I like to emphasize or em I like to say that sketchbooks are a place of creativity. They're a place to learn and you know to play and practice so um some of these pages aren't completely like perfectly done up like the first one or the first page but um and there are some mistakes like scruff marks and things like that and um you know weirdly um like dried stuff and things and there's just random things as well like this page is very random and then we got other pages that are like a little picture which I love um, creating oops this one completely fell out um, I just love creating this like beautiful like atmosphere and so and then I also like doing some swatches so these are some new colors that I got And so I just, I just love playing around. Um, I, I really do a lot of like landscapes and flowers and things. So I just love like trying new things. So this was a Harry Potter page, obviously. Um, yeah. I love doing water. I want to do more. So. And I've already started a new sketchbook, so that'll be fun. I also love playing with my ink pen here with different um, fonts and things. And I like to use um, pictures like off of Pinterest or Unsplash or Flickr or any of those um, free, uh, well, Pinterest isn't like free color or free color, I was looking at this, free photos. But um, if you're not selling it, then I don't see a problem in using photos. Like if you're just practicing, unless if you're entering it in a competition or if you're if you're trying to sell it, I won't recommend, you know, using like Pinterest, but Unsplash and Flickr are good options. Also taking your own references. This was my own reference and I played with the new style here. So I, I played, I played around a little bit. I didn't play around that much, but, um, because this was my last sketchbook with this paper in it. So I was feeling a little, 
um, not scared, but, um, I just wanted to think intentionally about my pages. So I think I do have a video about this page. I'll put it, you know, up in the link. As well as this one. I believe this one was in a video as well. Though I did have a point where I filmed a lot but didn't um, upload any. So that might have been part of this. But I love this page spread too. I just love the colors. And I also love the colors on this side of the water and the clouds. That's nice. I like it. And I play around a little bit with colored pencil here. And I've noticed uh, if I'm going to use color pencil with my watercolors, I rather used hot press paper, which is a smoother texture than a little bit of this rough because it's easier for the pencil to glide on. So I think in the future, that's what I'll do. I also have a TikTok about this page. I did a plein air painting in my backyard. I played with a new like kind of texture here, um, dry brushing, and the, I really love the effect. It's really nice. And then I really love this page. I think I overworked it just a little bit. Uh, I probably could have done it better, but as we said, you know, it's practice sketchbook, so I'm not too worried about it not being, you know, perfect. So. And then I used a new technique for this one. I did an underpainting of like a burnt sienna color and then I put color on top of it. And I do really like the outcome. I probably could have worked on it a little more, but you know, you know, it's just for practice. This is my practice sketchbook. So, or all sketchbooks are supposed to be for practice, basically. Though if, you know, a page came out that was really nice and you had like a good reference that you could, you know, sell, I would totally um, recommend, um, you know, making a print of it would be really cool. So there we are. We are at the end. I just want to thank y'all for watching and the sketchbook will be in the description box. And I think that's it. Thank y'all. Bye.